Hi guys, this is kind of spur of the moment. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a live today or not. And then earlier today I went, well, I do have some time, so maybe I'll go ahead and do a craft. And then I was still debating. But then as I got done with everything, I figured, why not? I'm already upstairs. I'm going to go ahead and do a craft. And I started out, I was going to do these uh, sock gnomes, and then the hat was going to be the sleeve of a sweater. But then, as I got to looking at all my supplies through, through my craft room, I changed my mind. So I'm not doing the sock gnome with the sweater. Um, I ended up deciding I'm going to do a candle holder with a gnome sitting on top. And the, the candle holder is going to look like a mushroom. So I'm going to let a few people hop on before I actually get started in, in the craft, but I'm going to show you what all materials that I'm going to use, use for it. So I had some of these little jars, got them at the Dollar Tree, and I had seen a YouTube video on how they had similar jars like this that had like a little tea light candle insert where they flipped it upside down and then put a bowl on it and made and made mushrooms. And I thought, well, I can't find any of those. But these look like the bottom of a mushroom. So I ended up buying several of them. So tonight, I ended up doing one already. I'll show you that here in a second. And I thought, why not? I'm just gonna try it. Might not look right, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And so then I ended up getting these little bowls here. And originally I got these bowls to make little lamps out of candle sticks. And then put like a little bowl underneath it. And then this would be the shade. I tried that and I didn't care for how it was looking 100%. So I'm going to use these for this craft. Because when I set them on here... It just looked so much better so when this fits on top there's like this little rim right here that is where this rim is gonna hit inside there so see how that's gonna look like a mushroom and you're gonna have your candle on the inside there and then it's gonna I mean you can leave it plain if you want but with how I'm doing it, I think it looks really cute, but I'll get your guys' uh, opinions on that as well. So, the one thing that sparked my inspiration for this was years ago, at, I ended up getting some stuff in, at Shopco. <laughs> and they were these little stakes that you push down into the, the ground, and it was a little gnome sitting on a mushroom so this is what this one's busted so it had this inside so you would stick that in the ground and it would it would just be a cute little decoration for your for your rock garden hi Teresa I'm doing good I decided to log on so I figured I would just see who all would catch me and um, I did give a little a little hint earlier that I might, but I can't I can't go away from crafting. I craft every week, so. But with these, I ended up getting three of them, and through the years, the weather has gotten to them, and the bottom part has busted off. Now on the I have a yellow. This one's kind of like a reddish orange. And then I have a blue one. Well, the blue one still had the thing attached to it. So I thought, well, I'm going to just tap it very lightly with a hammer and see if I can, like, loosen the glue at the top. And it shattered. So I glued this one back together. I mean, you can see the cracks. But I'm still going to keep them because this is going to be mine Um this one I'm just going to keep so I have it in my brain that it, it can be done. Hi, Uncle. Oh, I'm 
I'm so glad that you get notifications because I wasn't sure if it did that or not. Um, I'm not too tech savvy, so I'm not sure how, how Facebook works when it comes to the lives, if people get notified when they follow me. But, but yeah, two of these had, had this busted off and the blue one still had it attached and I shattered it. So that one will stay for me. But what I'm wanting to do is glue this part of the gnome to the top of this. So that would be easier to take on and off of your candle holder. Now I did one earlier just to see if it would work for me. So I will show you. And all that I did was I painted, painted this with, and just roughly, I made sure that it showed a little bit of lines because the bottom of a mushroom kind of has those grooves and everything. So it has like the brush strokes on there. But when it's lit up, that's going to let the light shine just a little bit through there. But I used white Waverly chalk paint. And a little bit of metallic gold. And then I also added a little bit of water just to... to thin it out a little bit because it was really really thick and then I also added I don't know if it did much of anything but I also added a little bit of Mod Podge and I added Mod Podge to all the paint as well just because I, I figure maybe it'll coat it a little bit better and then all I did was I did a couple coats on this here and I mean you still see the detail And he's still a little roughed up, scratched, and everything. But once it's painted, and you have that in there, you probably won't be able to see it that well. With my lighting, I have everything lit up so nicely. I'm going to shut these off. Maybe it'll show you a little bit of how it's... Can you see like right here how it's shining through just a little bit? It'll be even better if it was darker in here, but I'm not going to shut off all my lights. So I'll turn these back on and then I will show you how I've done this. And I, I ended up getting some paints that kind of match the colors of the gnomes or the, the little mushrooms. So I have some blue, and I ended up putting that in with a little bit of Mod Podge. Um, it says Admiral Blue. And then this one, does it say the color? Vermilion. It's kind of like a terracotta orange, orangey red color. So I figured, why not? I'm going to give it a shot. So, this here is my, my white with gold and a little bit of Mod Podge and water. So, all I'm going to do, and I found sticking my hand in there, it was easier to paint. So, all I'm going to do, and I'm not doing a really thick coat because I want to be able to see those lines but you get a hint you get a hint of that gold and it just breaks up that white and it really makes it look like it's it's the bottom of a mushroom then I just spin it as I go And since it has this little groove at the bottom, it does want to puddle in there, but I try to just kind of grab in there. Because if it puddles in there, that's going to dry, you know, really not as quick as the rest of it. 
So I just grabbed some of that from there. And I'm just making sure all of my brush strokes, you know, like I'm not stopping in the center. Because I want it all the way to the dent, to the other side. And then you don't have to do the bottom, but I went ahead and did that on the other one. I don't know, I think it kind of just makes it look more finished. And since it's such a light coat, it's already partway dry. And then I just take my heat gun. I don't know how I did things without this. I mean, I use my hair dryer, but it doesn't work as good as my heat gun. But with this, you do have to watch what materials you use it on because you don't want to melt your project. And I can see on here where I did get fingerprints on there, but it's okay because that that part where I have a fingerprint is going to be covered with, with the lid or the top of the mushroom. crazy how I thought I was going to be making like sock gnomes and I end up doing this here. <laughs> totally different craft. And if I like how these turn out, um, I will put them out on my table during the farmer's market this weekend. Hi, auntie. I was just telling everyone that I started out, I figured I was going to do sock gnomes with a sweater for the hat. I was going to cut the sleeve and use that for the hat because I was watching videos today. But as I got up here and I started looking at all my stuff, my mind got sidetracked and I fell in love with this craft way more than the sock gnomes. So in this paint, I mixed... A little bit of that Mod Podge. I just think it'll help it stick to the to the bowl just a little bit better. And I don't put tons and tons of paint on there. And I go from the top down. And the blue one, I'm not going to sell because he is, he is busted, but I'm going to put that in my, in my collection just because I think this craft is really cute. And even though he's broke, I think he has a little bit more character. Maybe I'll glue little flowers or something on there. And if I do end up liking how he looks after that, maybe then I will put him in the sale. But I have, I'm going to have to do some, use some different ideas before the blue one goes in the sale. And I'm doing even brush strokes. And I think this, the Mod Podge in the paint is going to make it to where when it dries, it's a little bit lighter to where that light will still shine through a little bit of my paint. And blue is not normally my color, but I'm loving this shade of blue. And I like the brush, I like that I can still see the brush strokes. I don't 
know. I can't say it enough, you know. It just kind of adds that little bit of uniqueness or a little, it adds a little pizzazz to it. And in nature, nothing is perfect. I mean, it, the mushroom could have more sun on one side, so it could be a little bit more vibrant. Or maybe it's even bent or crooked, but that's what makes it neat. You know, I love stuff with uniqueness. So now I'm going to put this down, otherwise it's going to have my fingerprints on it as well. And on the other one, I did paint the top. Even though it's going to be covered with that, that gnome. And my heat gun, I've been putting it on the lowest setting because I don't want it to melt to anything. I could use the, the hottest one on here because I know if I don't keep it in one spot, I'll be fine. But I always use the low setting as much as possible. And with the heat gun, as you go, you can see, I won't be able to put it up there, but you can see where it starts drying the quickest. do one more coat on here. I mean, I can still see through it, but I can see through it quite a bit in certain spots, so I will do a second coat on there. I should also mention that with this craft I am not using real candles I know a lot of people will say well that's a no-brainer but you just never know and accidents happen and if a little kid sees sees the video I want to make sure that it's accurate there as well so no real candles unless you're not gonna have the top on but if the top is on there, you can use the battery light and still get the same effect. Just about to the other side. I don't think the phone shows how vibrant this blue is. Like I said, I don't normally like blue, but this this shade of blue is really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and dry it some more. And these are the, I just got these at Walmart. I think they, they also have the battery operated uh, smaller uh, tea lights at Dollar Tree. They would work just the same.
And with the heat gun, I do try to move it around just a little bit. Because if you do stay in one spot, it will it will heat that bowl up and then you run the risk of melting it. The nice thing about the bowls though, if you shoot it towards the top, it goes down a little bit on all sides. But boy, the heat gun sure does save me time during my crafts because I wouldn't want to have to wait as long as it takes, you know. Watching paint dry takes forever. Unless you use your heat gun. So, I've got him prepped. Then, what I did was I took some E6000. And I'm going to use the E6000 and the hot glue. Just so the E6000 will set it permanently. But that hot glue will will give me that temporary bond so it'll 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 adhere right away. And I love how these are the perfect size for the tops of these bowls. And then you do have to let this sit for a little while before you grab from the top. Because you don't want it to come off. Then there's that one. I just think they look so adorable. And it was just a last minute. I wasn't sure what all I was going to use these for. But I knew I was not going to throw them in the garbage. So now I will work on... Now I will work on the orange one. And these had uh, stickers on the bottom and I just used my heat gun, warmed up that, that sticker. And then I have a Cricut. And so I took the spatula from that and just peeled it off of there. I had seen that on a YouTube video and that is a really perfect tip. Oh my goodness. It's, it will save you in time. All that you do is make sure you get a little bit of paint all the way from edge to edge. And it, I like that this one, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to want, you're going to want it to not be perfectly painted because you want that light to come through it. I like the crafts that you can't really mess up on them. And I don't think you can really see on there, but there is little bits of gold flakes that shine through because I added that gold to the paint, to the white. If I want, I can also just leave that on my hand. And dry it that way. 
just remember to spin it because if you leave it in one spot too long, you will feel it through there because it will warm up that glass. And there's not a very thick coating of it, so it shouldn't take very long for the for the paint to dry. And that is what the bottom looks like and you want those lines left on there so that light from the candle will come through now I noticed that I ended up getting a little bit there easy fix fix it and it only takes a second for it to dry but they don't have to look perfect and that's that's what's good about this craft I have a feeling the next time I go to Dollar Tree, I'm going to end up buying more of these just because I like how they look. But I'll have to find something else to sit on top of them because I only have the three and Shopco is no longer around to give me these cute little things. Unless I can find those toppers um, on Facebook, or not Facebook, but on Amazon or something or online. I'm sure I could find something to stick on the top of there. If you didn't want to do two coats on this, if you wanted just a very light, really faint, light uh, coating on there, that's fine too. It's a pretty forgiving craft. And they have all sorts of bowls out there. If you didn't want to use this one, they have some that are like really just clear and plain. This one I thought I was going to use it for those lamps, but I wasn't liking how those were turning out. But I like them as mushroom tops. And I was going to let you guys know, I do have a YouTube channel, if you wanted to check that out. It's the same name, it's Steph's Crafts. Um, I post all of my videos on there as well. And also do that there. I'm really surprised as to how many followers I have gotten since, since I did the Farmer's Market over the weekend I think I'm up to 624 or something like that and I do appreciate all of you guys following me watching my videos and giving me encouragement and helping me with my crafts I love talking to you guys. And 
with this bowl, since it has so many grooves, I've been filling all the grooves up with paint. If you didn't want to fill those in, you don't have to. It's just something that, that I'm doing. I like the full, the full coverage. But it's still light enough to where you can see through. Oh, Uncle, I, it blows my mind that I'm, my number is so high already. If I ever reached a thousand, a thousand followers, I would be shocked. So shocked. <laughs> All right, so I did one coat. I'm going to go ahead and dry this. I wasn't sure if this would look more orange or if it would look more red. But it's really cute on the clear, clear bowl. Just about dry. And then once I get this one dry, then I'll do a second coat. more orange on there but over here I do see a little bit of red in there but definitely on my camera on my phone it looks more orange So what are you guys thinking of this craft? Do you think that this one is better than the sock film that I was thinking of doing? Because <laughs> it was pretty much, the one I was planning on doing looked pretty much just like my other gnomes. Just the sock gnome with the rice in it. And then I was going to use a sleeve of a sweater. thought, well, I don't, it's a good way to to recycle clothing that you're not using. Like if it has a hole in it or something and you don't want to donate, might as well make it into a gnome hat. But I'm really glad that my brain don't shut off and I ended up doing this craft because I think this one's a little bit more fun than the other one. I mean, I like doing gnomes no matter what, but the ones that you don't see very often, those are my, my loves. I love doing the ones you don't see very often. Okay, so there's that second. 
coat. I'm going to go ahead and dry it. The other ones that I finished that are on the table there, <laughs> even close up and at a distance, they are really cute, even when they're not lit up. And the more I'm looking at the blue one, even though it's cracked, I'm going to go ahead and add flowers and stuff to it. And I will take it to the, the sale this weekend because I'm sure once I cover up that crack, they're not even going to notice. And it's stuck, it's going to be stuck on there because of that E6000 and the, the glue. Alrighty. And, you know how all of my craft all of my crafting videos normally go really well. I mean, I have had some that have had really bad mishaps. Like, I had a glue gun fall apart on me, and I had to redo stuff. Well, this one, as I was talking, you can see if you hold the glue gun in one, or the heat gun in one spot, you will melt it. So, I did melt, I melted this just slightly, but it's still going to work. It's going to sit just fine on there. And it's going to add character, so I'm still going to keep it. <laughs> and just so it is Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a flaw there. I'm putting that flaw in the center, or in the front. And then maybe I'll add a flower right where that's at. And no one will even know, unless they watch my video, that I melted that spot. Amanda, I know, right? I just, I wasn't even planning on doing this craft. <laughs> I was going to do sock gnomes with sweaters, and then I started looking through my crafts, and these have been sitting there for quite some time, because I didn't want to throw them out, because they were broken, and I thought, oh, you know what? I think I can make a mushroom out of those containers, and it turned out so cute. I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there. Okay. So see, right here is that dimple where I got to talking and I put the heat gun on there for too long and it melted it just a, just a little bit. So I will hide that. I will hide that with a flower. So, there's that. I'm gonna move all this stuff for just a minute since I'm done painting. So the base container is just a glass, just a glass container that I got from Dollar Tree. I had seen somebody on a YouTube video make mushrooms out of this one container. It's similar sh shape to this, but it had like this little insert for a tea light and they glued that insert upside down so it would prop up a bowl to make like a little 
mushroom lamp. Well, I couldn't find those, so I grabbed these because I thought they look like mushroom bottoms. So I figured I'm going to get some of those and I will make mushrooms eventually. Well, then I also bought bigger bowls. Well, the bowls were way too big. <laughs> and they, because I don't have that stand that sits up tall, so I'm like, I'll set them aside, I'll make mushrooms eventually. And so tonight, I'm just going through stuff looking, and this is what happens with, I'll make it eventually. I'm making mushrooms for my gnomes. And they turn out so cute. So I'm gonna bring all of them into the camera view. So this is the first one I did. Oh, and uh, Amanda, these here had this bottom attached to it underneath, so you could put them in your garden. But I've had them for years and years, and it would, and they've broken off. And one of the blue ones still had one on there. So I thought, well, I'll just take a hammer and just gently tap at it to loosen the glue. Well, it broke <laughs> the whole part of the, the blue. So I was a little disappointed at first and I went, whoa, wait a second. Don't freak out. Glue it back together. You can hide it. You're crafty. You can hide it. So sure enough, I'm going to... I'm going to just put some flowers where those cracks are, and it'll be just fine. <laughs> Don't they look adorable, though? And this one, even though, even though I melted that little piece, I mean, I won't use this flower, but, but I can hide that spot just by adding a flower. I'll have to go through my, my flower stash, though, just to make sure I find just the right one that I like. I also have, like, these here. Where that crack is, I can take some of these and take it all the way along that crack, and it'll hide it, and it'll just look like it's vining up through there. Yes, Uncle, I've got my eye on one, and I have put it on my birthday, Christmas, just because wish list. So, I do plan on getting a Dremel in the future. These, I think I'm just going to put them in the, um, in the sale on my table this Saturday, just to see what reaction I get to see if anybody would be interested in them. And then I do think I'm gonna buy more bowls like this and the, the bottoms. And then I will figure out what to put in on the top. Because I also made, I'm gonna set these aside. I also made, these to add in my sale as well so like I could put a bird on top not this size it would be a small one but and it even lights up they just look really cute and I'm looking for more stuff to add to my sale because I'll be doing um, three three sales a month until October so I want to make sure that I, I mean, I have all the gnomes and stuff that I had this last Saturday, but I want to make sure that I incorporate some new stuff as well. Yeah, those were so much fun to make. I also ended up getting these cute little candle holders, and I'm thinking of making them into beehives. I've already started... You know, just to see what it would look like wrapped, but leave the flower alone. And then maybe putting some eggs or something in there, or I don't know. I'm still playing around with it. 
My brain never shuts off. And I just got done making that hairdresser gnome for, for a friend. And then somebody else had asked me to make um, a Harley Davidson gnome. The same size as that hairdresser one. So I ordered some, some stuff for that today. And I can't wait to see how he's going to turn out. But oh my goodness, I just love crafting. I'm so excited that everybody likes watching and loves doing these. Oh, these, they would be cute hanging. And I also thought if I left this opening, it could be a gnome home. You know, and put like a little gnome inside there. These are so cute and could be used for anything. But they had them at the Dollar Tree. I should have grabbed more than just three. And on the, a lot of the gnomes, everyone's been asking what, what I use for the small items. Like I had used stuff to put in the apron pockets of that hairdresser gnome. So this here is for one of those My Life dolls. And it came with all sorts of stuff. This here, I have plans to do a Bob Ross gnome. And this is going to be used for that Bob Ross gnome. Probably this as well. So, all the things. Even though this, this was like 13 bucks. I can piece all the stuff out. So, it's still affordable. Because it's not all going into one project. So I can piece it all out, but there's all sorts. It also came with a thing of scissors, and then it had several of these, and I thought those look like hair dye tubes, so I stuck some of these in her pocket. It came with a pair of scissors. I stuck that in her pocket, um, and I think I put one of these in there because I thought, well, it could be... It could be anything, you know, hairdressers always have their clips and everything in their pockets. But it came with like little paintbrushes. These work so good for the gnomes. You know, um, what else? Oh, I ended up getting doll shoes. It's the same thing, the My Life uh, dolls. They have so much good accessories. And so I find myself over in that section of the store quite a bit. And then also Barbies. All of the Barbie accessories come in handy as well. Like this one here. She was 17 something. And I thought I can use the hair for that hairdressing gnome. And I just took some of these off of there plus it came with bar rats so I'm just gonna piece it piece it out now the granddaughters they had seen this and they went oh you bought me a Barbie nope that's Nana's I'm sorry <laughs> we'll get you guys something later on but this one's mine and I'm using all of the pieces for gnomes for the accessories that way I don't have to charge an arm and a leg for getting an expensive one from from online somewhere some of those things get pretty expensive but if I can find something that has multiple uses I'm all for it and then what else I was gonna show you guys something else oh this is what I was gonna show you Everyone's wondering how I make the gnomes um, stand up. So I ended up getting these boots. And they come with little socks in them. And so I ended up using these foam curlers. And I took the little metal piece out. And I put... 
This is just a chopstick. But you could also use a dowel rod. But I put that inside. That way I have something to put into the cone. Because some of sometimes I use a cone, a styrofoam cone, or I also use pool noodles. So it just kind of depends on what you're wanting. I say play around with everything. You know, whatever you have around your house, just use what you can. Use what you got. And it all it all works. If it doesn't work, you'll come up with another your mind will just keep going and you'll come up with another route in order to make it happen. Now, I also got these really fun faux fur. They're really soft too. I ended up ordering some packages of it on uh, Amazon because I work at Walmart and they do have some faux fur there, but I'm really limited on the colors. All that I've got uh, at Walmart is a brown and a white. So I wanted something nice and fun. So I went and I purchased a thing of a, several bags and it came with a variety of fur. And I save all my scraps because you just never know what size you're going to be working with. Like this one here, if I have any more of those little coffee cups, I would use this for his beard for the coffee cup mounds. And then also, they had these blankets and I'm planning on just cutting it up and using it for beards as well. They had that on sale for like $7. And I kept going, you know how many beards that could be? So whatever works. And these skewers, I put those in the arms. I used a smaller, a smaller curler for the arms. And I used this in order to stick the arms into the sides. The coffee, the little coffee cups had a gnome uh, peeking up out of the cup. And so his beard was kind of dangling over and curled off to the side. Oh, Amanda, it's too late. I've already cut it. <laughs> I've already started using it, so it's coming in handy. I've got tons of blankets downstairs. Anytime somebody sees something that they think that I would I would like, they buy it for me. So I've got I've got tons of blankets. I've got tons of pillows, and then of course they buy me crafting stuff too. So it works. It just all works. Sometimes if I'm if one blanket is wearing out a little bit more. I'll use it and then I'll replace it with a different one. But I am just loving that how much the brain works. Because this wasn't even the craft I was planning on doing tonight. <laughs> and I can't wait to put these in my, uh, on my table just to see what everyone thinks I'm gonna also try to turn my lights down just to see if we can tell because it's a little darker here now so maybe it'll show on camera can you see how it's glowing a little bit so, forward. You can see a little bit of the flicker there. Thank you, Amanda. I love how they look. And it's nice that you don't have to be perfect with the painting because I've said it in the past, I cannot paint to save my life. And it's it doesn't normally look good. But these don't have to look perfect. These can look, you know, a little scuffed up because 
mushrooms have been outside and in the elements and so it's gonna look great. Ooh, a large one would be awesome. The large ones, I have a hard time uh, making them because I have a feeling I'm going to want to keep the large ones. And these would look really cute outside. Now, if you put them outside, I would recommend spray spraying like a protective coating on them, like a, a finish. Just, just so if they do get wet, um, they're a little bit more protected. And I mean, the Mod Podge does help, but I would definitely recommend spraying a protective coating. Right now, they're just inside, inside stuff. It would look good on my porch, though, that's covered. Oh, Auntie, thank you for watching. I always enjoy visiting with you guys. Ooh, I did not know that they have dishwasher safe ones. I'm going to have to look for that. Thank you for that tip. But yeah, I just felt like hopping on tonight. Not really planning on a really long video, but wanted to do something. Scotch card might work too. Maybe I'll have to play around with, with some of it just to see if that would work. Amanda, thank you. I'm going to look for that next time I'm at the store. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Um, I know I haven't put the flowers and, and all that on here yet, but I think I'm going to get off, finish up my laundry, do some more crafting, organize a little bit. I have another, um, another uh, farmer's market this weekend, so I have to get all my stuff ready and so... I'm going to do that. Amanda, I am so glad that you logged on because I would have never have even known about that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to close this up and I will see you guys next time. Keep checking back. I have Saturday off. I don't know if I'll do a live then, but maybe I'll do one Sunday after I get off work or something. I've got so many things I want to do, so I will try to do some more lives. And like I said, also check my YouTube channel. All these videos, this one and the last video that I did, I plan on moving those over tonight. And... I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a great weekend. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you. I will talk to you then. Bye.